Hi, how are you? It's Travis Hi. here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we began our journey on our Paladin, and we made our way to Elwyn Forest. Today we will start questing in the zone, but first, we are going to make our way to the Dark Moon Fair. If you guys do not know what this place is, it's a fair that I believe happens once a month. And sometimes it's in Elwyn Forest, and other times it is in Mulgor, the Horde site. So let's have a chat here with Sage. It looks like there's a lot of Horde bodies here. They seem to be all trying to get this buff from the Sage. I'm not going to read over all this. I, actually, I got this in the Priest Let's Play as well, and I read over it. So I'm just going to go through it here. So what you want to do, for the most part, is just pick the first option. And you get a buff. Which I believe is the best one. Sage's Dark Fortune of Damage increases damage by 10%. Can't go wrong with that at all. Alright, so now we got our damage buff. Let's have a chat here with Remy two times. Hey there, friend. My name is Remy. I'm from Red Ridge to the east. And came here looking for business. Looking for business. You got any? Got any? Adventurer, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan. But he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, adventurer, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south, and around the Jasper Load Mine to the northeast. Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn Mines. The Fargo Deep Mine to the south and Jasper Load Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Hey, healer. Oh, Warlock. Alright, so here we are. At the Fargo Deep Mine. Should do alright here. The buff that we have is pretty damn strong. For some reason, we don't have Crusader Strike on these gloves, so we'll make sure to get that up there. After this fight. Let's reapply that. I guess we got some new gloves. Let's make our way into the Fargo Deep Mine. This buff should help quite a bit. We're pretty damn lucky that the Dark Moon Fair is up while we are here leveling in Elwyn Forest. Should be up for the next two days. Ah, oh, we could have got mining. I wonder if I should get mining with on this character. I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll do like herbalism alchemy. Or something else. Who knows? Not really sure like what class will be my main. Yeah, I think we'll do herbalism alchemy on the on the paladin. Why not? We need an alchemist on the server.
Uh oh, we pulled two. And we didn't heal. Might have to heal here. This is a big heal. Eh, pretty big heal. Not bad. It's one down. That was a close call. And I hope you guys are doing well today. You're doing pretty good. I think this paladin is going to be pretty fun. Looking forward to trying tanking on this guy. The cool thing about a paladin, guys, is we won't have to buy a mount. I think we get our mount from uh, just doing a quest, so. Make sure to check that out. It's one benefit to playing a paladin and a warlock. Warlocks also have that luxury. And beat up again, guys. I think we might have to heal. This one. That's one down. And there we go. We leveled up just in time. Level eight. Maybe we should have picked up the Lost Necklace quest before we jumped in here. There is a kobold, I believe, called Gold Tooth that we need to slay for that quest. Let's check out the range. That's him right there. Yeah, gold tooth. Uh oh. Could be in trouble here, guys. He's level eight. He's hitting this pretty hard. I think we'll just heal here. Hopefully, we can get this heal off. There we go. Some miners beating the crap out of us. I'd have to heal again. Really don't want to lose this buff. Two percent damage is quite a bit. Oh, there we go. We got some gold dust from Gold Tooth. We're almost done with the candles. We just need five more gold dust. Not too bad. And Questy is telling us that we have a ruin over here called the Inspiration Exemplar Ruin. And I looked it up and supposedly we need another healer there. We need to summon the adventurer's spirit with the help of a friend. So maybe we'll we'll head over there. Let's see if there's anybody else trying to do that. Supposedly it's a, a healer spell, it's comparable to Tremor Totem. Which is a, a shaman spell that drops a totem and like removes fear. From the target. It's kind of interesting that they gave Holy Paladins that in Season of Discovery.
This will lead an apple here. Get our health back up. Just in time. I wonder if I should keep this up for a little bit longer. Hopefully we deal less damage with that aura or that seal. But our attack speed's higher and our attack power. Quite a bit of attack power, so... I assume our damage would be the same, or if not more. 40% attack speed's quite a bit. Looks like we got a mage here. Better make sure we buff ourselves up. Just looking for gold dust now. Oh, we found a battered chest. Will we open it before we get hit? Nope. That's one thing we need to get is some bags. We got a mage scroll. Get rid of that. All right, four more gold dust. Maybe we'll head down here. And get the lost necklace and princess must die. And then we'll head back into the mine. We'll fight Gold Tooth one more time. Because Gold Tooth has that necklace. The Brackwells have a prize winning pig, princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and, and Billy's eating my on veggies. the other side. So before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch to the east and beyond the McClure farm. He's get trying to get the dark she gets hungry buff. and comes back here. I lost my necklace and think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. My troll's just waiting for the right moment to go into the Dark Moon Fair and get the 10% damage buff for his raid tonight. I used to wake up at like 5 a.m. to try to get that. And there would still be people camping the Dark Moon Fair at that time. Griefing Horde players. The thing is, the Horde did the same thing to the Alliance on our server. It was on Feralina. And everybody would try to get that buff for Raid. Because it's 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 arguably the best buff. Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. So what we would do to get this buff, Dark Moon Fair buff, you would queue up in in uh, Ogremar for Malturk Valley, or you get somebody that was in Ogremar to queue you up while you were here in Elwyn, and you would wait for the queue to pop, either by being like like as a ghost dead next to Sage. Or where you would like wait for the queue to pop, run in, get the buff, and then once you get the buff, you enter the battleground. And usually that would save your life from people trying to gank you. And then you would have the buff while inside of AV, and then after you just leave, and then you'd be back in Ogremar once again. It's a pretty creative way to make sure you get this buff. <laughs> For raid. It's funny how people still camp 
bad buff even in Season of Discovery. And really, no time is a good time to get it because a lot of uh, Australian players are up, you know, at like 5 a.m. to so like when it's 5 a.m., it's 5 p.m. their time, so... There really isn't never really a good time to get the buff. Okay, do we have... I hope we have the... Down Earth stuff's full. Nine armor cloak. It's no big deal. We'll just uh, give ourselves... That's Maybell's letter. Thought that was a buff. I think it's just gold dust in here, right? We didn't get the... The other quest. We have to slay gold tooth. Pie for Billy. Oh yeah, we have to get the pie. And then he tells us. Forgot about that. Right, so I guess we don't even have to be in here. We were better off just getting the pie. Patrol coming. Chasing us down. Give him a buff. I'll try to get this pie for Billy. Maybe we'll just head back here. Suppose we don't have all the gold dust yet. We just need one more gold dust. We might as well get that. There we go. Alright, so let's head back to the inn. Turn these quests in. And we'll sell this junk. Yeah, I haven't been too lucky with a, a four-slot bag. There is a chance that any of the mobs here can drop a four-slot. Wondering if I should just buy a bunch of bags for the paladin. On my priest. So we don't have to worry about bag space. Maybe we'll do that. It's one good thing about having a main on the server or another character that's max level. You just buy your alt. All the bags you need and make leveling a little bit more comfortable. Oh, here we are back in the Dark Moon Fair. Yeah, look at all the bodies here. No one's letting these guys get this buff. Look at this guy just camping here. <laughs> what can I do for you? Psst. You have that gold dust for me? Thanks for the dust, adventurer. Here's your cash, and here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful? This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, adventurer. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. 
Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, adventurer, and here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. I packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind. Elmore's Task. I guess we'll pick it up. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. If you haven't already, you should report to Gryan Stoutman. Let's get this boar meat. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill, just off the road in the middle of Westfall. There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimmond Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland in the north. You have a sturdy <laughs> pair on you, so if you're interested in some legwork, then speak with Grimond. We could use you down here, but we must also keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimond Elmore at the weapon shop in the dwarven district of Stormwind in the northeast section of town. And the thing is, they want to be careful getting the buff. Because if you get the buff and die, you can't get it. You can't just get it again. You have to wait a decent amount of time to get it back. So they're being pretty damn careful about it. And that is a sign of a of a toxic server, guys. When, it, <laughs> when the Dark Moon Fair buffs get camped, the server is kind of toxic, PvP wise. But I enjoy it. I noticed that when every like every time I went to Ratchet, I would get ganked by the Horde. Oh, my priest. No mercy at all. I guess while we're fighting these boars, we could make our way over here. It's like this guy DC'd. It's human mage. We're already level 9, guess. Could potentially be... Level 10 by the end of this episode. Which means we're 5 levels away... From being able to... Do dungeons. What the heck is this thing? How's that a critter? <laughs> Wild polymorph. This creature can, has been transformed. I guess that's by a mage. Hello. Maybell's love letter. Uh, I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Please, adventurer, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Maybell, she can. She's inside our house east of here. While our families are feuding, Tommy Joe and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pessel has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. There's another boar. 
I should have picked that quest step when we were in gold sure we got that shovel I wonder if that shovel's a better two-hander it is let's put it on <laughs> we're a real farmer now guys we're smacking these boars with shovels Supposedly, boars are like a, a serious, like, epidemic down in the States. They breed like crazy, and they eat all of, like, your crops. Or, and they when they run through your crops, they ruin them. And no matter how much people hunt them down, they just, the population just keeps on growing. <laughs> And you think, hey, that's probably not too bad, you know. If you slay them, you know, kill them, you can probably eat them. Nope. Supposedly their their meat's pretty damn slimy. They're not like pigs. All right, we just need one more boar, guys. Maybe we'll get that, that ruin later. I think that's the type of ruin you want to talk to somebody about. You know, try to get a group going. Seems like we need another person to summon it. Or summon whatever we need to summon to get the ruin. Cool that Questy shows you all like where the the last phases ruins are. So we don't miss them. There's another one here called Aegis. You have to cast Purify on the wounded adventurer and talk to him afterwards. Alright, so we got all the meat. Let's go have a chat here with Billy. If we can run through here. Probably can. We're a paladin. We have bubble. We'll be back. I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get it back, what to get back what's mine, then so be it. Do you have that boar Though meat? This wild boar meat is tough. Simmer it enough, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go, and when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. I don't think she made that pie with love. Probably tastes terrible. Boar meat pie. It's really slimy. <laughs> I don't believe that she made it taste good. Not at all. Another pallet in there. All right, Billy, tell us where it is. Dog, I'm starving. Do you have that pie for me, Travisine? 
Mm, yum. This pie is the best. I think my memory is coming back to me. I was playing near the Fargo Deep Mine, and I think I dropped her. I mean, I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how it got there. It wasn't me. Well, anyway, I saw this big gold-toothed kobold pick up the necklace and run into the mine. Go find that kobold, and you'll find the necklace, I swear. And then we'll get these gloves. Leather gloves that we won't use. Oh. Wow, that was a big crit right there. You tell, like, we are much stronger than we were 20 minutes ago when we first went into this mine. Those few levels that we got increased our hit chance against these uh, kobolds. We're hitting them much harder now. We also got a better weapon, too. So that, that helps. I think if we're just using judgment, I, I, I believe... Steel Righteous is probably better. Okay, if we plan on using Judgment right away, I, I mean, or, well, yeah, if we plan on using the Judgment Billy right away, I think uh, Seal of Righteousness is probably better. It's it's a little less mana. It's five less mana. So, probably better to use that instead of Seal of Crusader. Seal of Crusader is probably better if we don't plan on using Judgment for a while. And the Seal I was talking about in TBC, I believe it's called Seal of Blood. I don't think we have that. But maybe they, they give Paladins that later on. Maybe it's a Ruin. I wonder if they'll come out with a another TBC server. Or another Wrath of Lich King server. That'd be awesome. I don't really see that happening, but it'd be nice to have another fresh start. Oh, I got a mana pot. I'm mean, a health pot. It's good. And it seems like people are craving a fresh server for classic era. We didn't get one with solo self bound, so people have decided to take matters into their own hands. And there is a community trying to start a, a fresh experience on a classic era server that is low pop and barely has anybody on it. I believe it's on Deviate Delight, which is an RP PvP server for classic era. There's, there's a guild there trying to get a movement going. I think that's a pretty good idea. You know, if, if, if Blizzard's not going to, you know, cr create a, a new, you know, fresh server experience anytime soon, then I guess the player base has to uh, try to make their own. All right, there we go. We got Bernice's necklace. Now, that server won't really feel like a fresh server. You know what I mean? Because 
not everyone's not just gonna log in at the same time and and start playing. But uh, most of, most of the people on it will be leveling for for a while. So it's somewhat of a fresh server experience. I also heard that many private servers don't really plan on starting anything new either. Or there isn't anything that I've heard of. I think that's a mistake. People love fresh servers, man. I think Blizzard should try to do it, do that every, th every three months. Start a new server. I guess the next time we will see a fresh server experience in Classic WoW will be the new season of Discovery. If they call it Season of Discovery, maybe they'll call it a different, have a different name for it. Hello. Hello, Travisine. Have you found my necklace? Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. There we go. Level Here, 10, guys. It was my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Nope. Asterisk, sniff, asterisk. Now, what should we do? I think we should, we'll just take Blessing of Might for now. Increases the melee attack power bonus of your Blessing of Might by 4%. Why not? It's great for all specs. Um, the other ones we could have taken were improved devotion or increases the armor bonus of your devotion or by 5% for doubt. Increases your chance to block attacks with your shield by 6% after being the victim of a critical strike. Last 10 seconds. And then we also have benediction. Reduces the mana cost of your judgment and seal spells by 3%. That's an also, that, all, that is also a really good uh, talent to take. But since we're in Season of Discovery and we have Crusader Strike, which re helps us regenerate mana, it's it's not that great. But in regular Classic, it's pretty damn good. All right, so let's head back to Goldshire. We'll turn this node into William. Holy had Divine Strength. Increases Strength by 2%. That's pretty good, too. And Divine Intellect increases your total intellect by 2%. You have a note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has My to heart say. My goes out to those two poor souls, Maybell and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy oh, cool Joe. Cool sword. But to make the liquor... More damage than the... Kelp. The shovel. The kelp it's gonna be... Grows in the ocean, we don't have, we don't have the proficiency. We don't have the proficiency. See if the Murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. It's Crystal too Lake bad. Just east of Guess we'll have to go to Stormwind for that. We'll have to learn two-handed swords soon. All right, guys. Well, there we go. I guess we'll keep the rest of this stuff. And next episode, we will continue our journey here in Elwyn Forest. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Till we meet again.